So, what's your name and what category do you compete in here in Klittmüller? And what's your home spot? Um, I'm Henry Colbert and I compete in the under 20 uh, category here. And I guess Klittmüller is kind of my home spot. I live in Germany, in northern Germany, and I sail like all over the Baltic Sea there or North Sea. Uh, but I'm also up here uh, once in a while. So. Once in a while. So, this what's, is kind your, of what's your favorite spot. spot then in that case? I like Hanstum, I like Klittmüller. Um, it can be quite tough up here sometimes with like big waves. So when you want to try and learn new new moves, sometimes like further down uh, or the Baltic Sea can be fun because it's not quite as, as tough and heavy. But any anything up here is fun. Very good. And uh, how were the, con the conditions in the competition? They were fun. Um, the first heat was really good and really nice. Um, we had some really, really fun conditions there. And then throughout the day, the, the conditions got a bit worse. Um, still for like competition, they were super, super nice and good. Um, it was just a bit, bit tough to drop your, um, your expectations throughout the day because you wanted to do something good. And then throughout the day, you had to... And the wind to, dropped a little bit, didn't yeah. it? And the current became a bit stronger. Yeah, so you had to be happy with, with something less good. Yes. In the further heat it's spot. not always easy to compete in those kind of conditions when the current gets strong and the yeah. wind gets a bit lighter. Yeah, then you, you can't really mess up the waves. You, you need to be sure to, to uh, make your turns. And if you, if you fall on a wave and you end up being all the way downwind, then getting upwind can be quite hard. And it went pretty good for you. Yeah. What was your final result again? Uh, I won. The under so, 20 category, right? Yes. Congratulations. So, thanks so much. Um, Any, yeah, pretty stoked. Yeah. Any um, advice for younger windsurfers to come here and compete in Klittmüller? Just train hard and, and be focused um, and, and do the stuff that you can do um, and just try and have a plan of what you want to do in the heat maybe. Um, not try and go for the most radical stuff if, if you can't land that safely. Land the stuff that you can do safely first and then build your way up. Very good. Yeah, that's good advice. Yeah. And any good windsurf center close to your home spots? Uh, not really. Where, where kids can learn to windsurf so they get more use in the sport? Um, I think there's a couple in Germany. Um, a couple? There's got to be a lot of windsurf centers in Germany. Well, there's, uh, there's some windsurf schools where you can learn, but I, the, the places that I go to, there are usually not that many. So, so if so. I ask you, where should I send my kids, you wouldn't know what to say to me? Uh, um, maybe St. Peter Ording. St. Peter Ording? Yeah. I hear Feynman is pretty good too. Yeah, Feynman as well. Yeah. I've, I'm not there as much because... I think there's a good friend of all ours. It's called Google. If you're not <laughs> sure about where to send your kids to go windsurfing, ask Google. And they usually can tell you the best centers, the best windsurfing centers and the best schools for kids. And our advice is bring the kids to the windsurf center, leave them there just as if it is a ski school. <laughs> so you can get more use into windsurfing. Definitely. I mean, the more kids there are, the better it is. And I'm, I'm happy to see as many kids on the water as possible. Yeah, so. we all are. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, congratulations. Thanks. See you soon. Yeah, hopefully somewhere warmer or with good conditions. <laughs>